Let's do this thing. Can we do this 20 times and get better at it? Yeah, maybe. Professionals, TV professionals do it a lot of times sometimes. Yeah, they repeat the line? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Tell me about sometimes they need a week to say just one line, just really? 10 seconds. Yeah. And when, uh, and when they are going live, oh my god, they say unbelievable, stupid thing on the air. <laughs> <laughs> but they look good. <laughs> How do you say? Let me tell an uh, expression in Spanish and you can do the translation. Okay, cuando alguien está ileso. Ileso? Sí, es cuando alguien no se lastimó. En Spanish es cuando, cuando alguien no tiene inches o something like that. Cuando estás en un accidente uh -huh. y dicen eh, la víctima resultó ilesa. O sea que no tuvo lesión. Ilesa? Yeah, it's not injured. The expression is not injured. Okay? I'm not sure. Yeah, and one time. I was working for a specific station, Spanish station, and it's so beautiful reporter, so beautiful. She was talking at the same time from the station they was rolling the video when a victim of an accident completely destroyed, almost died. Yeah, and she said uh, she said the victim was teleported from here seriously it's like uh, if she say in in, in English seriously I'm injured. Oh yeah. Seriously okay. <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous. At the end. So, uh, so he was almost dead, and she said yeah, the total opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just trying to make it go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the smile looks okay. good. If you get the smile in there, that looks good. All right. You got a serious professor and a <laughs> cheerful student. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> ready. Okay. Um, to tell you a little bit about our virtual world. Um, what we've created is a simulated Miami, the one we're working on right now. Uh, what we're trying to do is create a little aspects of Miami, particularly South Florida. Uh, that would be, you know, Key West as well as uh, Coral Gables downtown, Miami Beach, also the, the, the unincorporated parts of Miami where I grew up, you know, Miami Dade, uh, Westchester, Kendall. Um, that's kind of what we're, we're developing now. We're trying to create a, a sense of of Miami so somebody can come in and, and, and look at Miami and see the different parts of it like the banyan trees you can have spotted around our island we also have uh, some QSS, uh, QSS uh, um, houses as well as a downtown view we've also created a cruise ship on our island uh, where we can actually, you can actually tour a cruise ship because as you know cruises are a big part of uh, downtown or of Miami okay um, what do you classmates, or the question is, what do your classmates think about this? Um, from when we were first introduced about the, uh, the virtual world, many of us took it as sort of an environment to create architecture buildings, you know, and it was very limited to just creating buildings. And, you know, you really didn't get into it until you really, uh, until you took the time to look at it, and you can actually create whole different environments. You, you can actually put yourself there with sounds, not only sound, but also the the, uh, the visual, you know, interactions of the island. So you you're there. We've created many uh, uh, Moroccos. We've created many J uh, Jamaicas. Uh, also created environments around there where you can actually all these students that you know I had never been able to visit those cultures before. We go in and um, they were able to show me through the you know the pictures uh, through different artifacts that they did create a, a little piece of their environment. Obviously, Miami being a very Cuba-oriented, there were some people that did come from Cuba, and they were also able to show me a little bit about Cuba. Uh, I won't go inside a little bit. Um, uh, one of uh, one of the <laughs> one of the uh, uh, projects that I did work on was just trying to uh, show the technology during a presentation last year at FIU was the virtual business. Uh, you saw we we created a virtual business complex. As you can see, you'll see right now, uh, the, the, the w we'll show you as you came in, uh, uh, you'll see the, the building's already finished. So you can see how we, we try to create a sense of, you know, you can see uh, the size and the depth and, and, and that's what kind of brings you into it. You, you know, you're there, you're looking through the eyes, it's kind of being in an interactive movie. You know, you're in the movie, you can see it 
and you can touch it, you can hear it. Uh, last thing is left to taste it, but we haven't gotten there yet. Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> um, any last things that we'd like to? Um, what's also neat about it is um, w one thing I'd like to comment is the anonymity that you get from going into a virtual world. You know, you you can create an avatar, a person that's you, your represent representation of you, but not necessarily, oh, I don't want to get all psychological, but it's a representation in, in the sense that uh, you can create whoever you want to be. Uh, you can be a, a, a wolf, a cat. You can be a, uh, um, you can be a female. You can be a, a male. You can be whoever. It was an interesting statistic when Second Life first came out. I think it was uh, somewhere in the range that 70% uh, of all females were played by males. I don't know what that, you know. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and, and it just creates that sense, that barrier that, that you don't have to feel embarrassed when you are uh, in this kind of world that people really don't know who you are, you represent whoever you want to be. And what we're trying to, uh, we're trying to bring into this was that um, we can create an environment which students can come together, talk, learn, create an environment which they can learn, we create uh, 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 scenarios for them to fulfill. Uh, and they can uh, they can accomplish those with you know the certain tasks that we have set out for them. For instance, one of the the projects we're working on is the Miami uh, uh, Monopoly game. <laughs> I didn't want to use the, the the word Monopoly. Uh, let me say one of the projects we're working on is the Miami Monopoly, uh, whereas you it's 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 Miami style. You buy real estate, you sell it. And uh, but it's th the real estate you buy is Coral Gables. You buy a Pinecrest. You buy a Coral Gables, uh, like a Coral Gables again, <laughs> uh, Star Island. So and, and that what you do is when you purchase a property, not only are you buying the property, but you can go walk on the property. You know, you go visit it. You go see it. You you're in it. You you walk around. You s and you experience it. Mm, that's about it. That's all I have. Is there any other things you want to talk about? Yeah, just I would I would like to get a demo. You, you mentioned the various parts of the island. Right. So let's get a demo of the island. Okay. Uh, and you really should drive this. Okay. You want to drive it on my machine? Or yeah. Machine? Okay. But that's not. Maybe it's better if you just take a look at the computer. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's contemplate now some of the roots of the tour. Okay. Um, you know, there's a way to get this back. So you're going to start with the CBA building. It's, I'm going to get words for these two. So the FIU business. You mentioned the cruise liner. Let's also put in the uh, the cargo port. I'm sorry. 
cuando aceptas eso no va a ser mucho, si tú tienes algo con el ¿Ya te dicen que con mi uh, your screen work? The screen. The screen. Oh, my screen. Uh, there's some paper towels. Yeah, some paper towels right back here.